There is no doubt that our world is full of some truly amazing and beautiful places. Areas like the Grand Canyon, Mount Everest, and the Great Barrier Reef are just a few of countless examples. Places like these bring about a renewed appreciation for the planet we call home. However, there are a few places on Earth that go beyond amazing and beautiful. They venture into the realm of unbelievable. Perhaps you've seen science fiction movies that are set against alien landscapes, other worlds that seem to defy imagination. Well, then you've probably seen something that looks similar to Pamukkale, Turkey. It is a natural site in the southwestern part of the country that is famous for a carbonate mineral left by the flowing of thermal spring water. In the Turkish language, the word Pamukkale literally means cotton castle, and when you see it, you'll understand why. Aside from looking very alien yet incredibly beautiful, there are plenty of amazing facts about Pamukkale. It is more than 100 meters in height and can be seen from the town of Denizli, which is about 20 kilometers away. The waters that spring from deep within the earth range from 35 to 100 degrees Celsius, and people are allowed to swim in them, provided, of course, that the water is not too hot at that time. It is even believed in some circles that the Egyptian Queen Cleopatra swam in a few of these pools at some point in her life. During the 1960s, hotels started springing up in the area to take advantage of the thermal pools and tourists flocked to the area from all over the world. However, because of the construction and lack of care for the environment, damage was done to the Pamukkale. It wasn't until the 1980s when UNESCO stepped in and deemed it a protected area. At that time, the buildings were removed and the natural beauty of the area started to come back. Today, it remains one of the most popular tourist attractions in the country. It is a truly unique thing when nature carves out natural wonders with a certain amount of geometric precision. In Scotland, there is a cavern that reflects this, and it is called Fingal's Cave. Its structure is completely unique. Located right along the Scottish shores, there is nowhere else in the world where there is a sea cave that has walls that are made of perfectly hexagonal basalt. People are drawn to this 227-foot cavern not only because of its unique features, but by how large these features are, their color, and even the serene sounds. So where does the name come from? The origin of the name Fingal's Cave is based in myth. Around 250 AD, there was a man named Finn McCool who was also known as Fingal. He was a general who had a band of dedicated warriors, almost like King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table. But it was his son Oshin that would make the name famous, because he is one of the most well-known bards in Scottish history. Wherever his father would go, Oshin would sing his praises and tell stories of his exploits, eventually turning him into a national hero. Although there are many myths about how the cave was formed, the truth is that it is the remnants of a lava flow. Constant cooling, reheating, and cooling of the solidified lava resulted in contraction and fracturing, culminating in a unique hexagonal pattern. It continued for many years, and the patterns gradually extended, becoming the massive and breathtaking structure that we see today. If you ever visit Scotland, the Fingal Cave should definitely be on your to-do list. Does anyone remember the painter from the 1980s, Bob Ross? Well, if you did, you'd remember his calming voice and the unique ways he would describe everything that he was doing. Two things that he was especially known for were his ability to paint mountains and his ability to mix colors. Now, imagine each of those things thrown onto a real landscape, and you'll have the Jungia Dantia Landform Geological Park. This is one of those landscapes that you simply can't describe. It has to be seen to be believed. As you can see, this park is known for its colorful rock formations and has been voted by various Chinese media outlets as being one of the most beautiful landforms in the country. The site was also named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2009. Each year, the park attracts hundreds of thousands of tourists from all over the world, each coming to see the colorful mountains that do not exist anywhere else on the planet. 
Not only can you count hundreds of colors in the mountains, the rocks are a mix of smooth and sharp and are several hundred meters tall. They are the result of various sandstone deposits, along with a variety of other minerals. Over the course of about 24 million years, the movement of the Earth's tectonic plates caused the rocks to become tilted and jagged. These same forces actually formed the Himalayan mountains. Along with the slow passage of time, other elements like wind and rain sculpted the landscape, shaping a variety of features such as the huge towers, pillars, and ravines. The minerals found within the rocks gave them their unique colors, resulting in the breathtaking beauty we see today. Photographers always seem to be searching for that one perfect photogenic shot. Sometimes it's a foggy mountaintop. Other times it may be a random sunset at the beach. There is one place on Earth that is possibly the most beautiful place to take pictures, and if you have a special person in your life, to take a romantic walk. It is called the Tunnel of Love and is located in Ukraine. Just be careful though, you may run into a train. Located near the city of Klevon, it is actually a section of an industrial railway, a relic of the Cold War that connects to an old plywood factory in the city of Orsiv. But this one specific section became known as the Tunnel of Love because about five kilometers of it is covered by forest. When the railway was first built, the train simply went through the forest, hitting any limbs that happened to be hanging in its way. But with the passage of time, the constant hits seem to have carved out a tunnel where the walls are nothing but leaves, branches, and vines. As the light is able to break through, it creates one of the most scenic backdrops for any picture. Tourists are known to flock here from all over, and as its name suggests, it is especially attractive to couples looking for that one romantic adventure. However, anyone who ventures here needs to make sure that they are constantly paying attention. The trains still use this section of track, sometimes multiple times per day. Luckily, engineers are aware that people are always on this section of track and know to take it very slow. Injuries are a very uncommon thing, and there seems to be no indication that anyone will ever be restricted from exploring the tunnel when they want to. Alaska is one of the most unique and visually stunning places in North America. Although it has a land area that is roughly half the size of the continental United States, there are less than 800,000 people living there. For years, much of the area was a mystery. But as time went on and more people ventured there, some of the area's most unique and mysterious secrets started revealing themselves. One of these was a glacier just outside the city of Juneau. Well, it wasn't so much the glacier that was the draw. It was what was underneath. The Mendenhall Glacier is a 12-mile-long glacier located in the Mendenhall Valley. However, for those who are brave enough to get a kayak, row to the edge of the ice, and climb over parts of the glacier, they will be greeted with one of the most stunning caves ever seen. At this specific point, the glacier is partially hollow, allowing people to walk inside. Once inside, people are surrounded with blue walls and ceilings. The ice on the ceiling almost looks as if large bubbles had frozen in place. All of this is made even more amazing when you sit back and realize that the ice is literally moving around you, gradually making its way into the sea. Sadly, things have fallen into decay due to global warming. The glacier is retreating. From the year 1500 to the mid-1950s, the glacier was reported to have only retreated about half a mile. However, between 1958 and 2019, the glacier has retreated over two miles. In 2020, it was reported that the ice caves had almost completely melted away. Of course, there could be caves somewhere else along the glacier, but they have yet to be discovered. By the time this video comes out, this amazing place may no longer even exist. Our Earth is beautiful in so many ways. So often, we simply take someone's word for it, but seeing is believing. It is our recommendation that if you ever have the chance to travel outside of your own borders, you definitely should. Who knows what other amazing places you might discover?